Hello everybody, today I'm just coming on here to talk a little bit about my spiritual rhythms. You know, how I feed my relationship with Christ, how I, you know, stay in the Word, how I grow in fellowship with my fellow believers. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about, you know, what I like to do and what you might um, learn from. So first off, I just want to give you a quick overview of what I do. I have daily habits, I have weekly habits, and I have month maybe once or twice a year kind of habits. Um, the daily ones are a lot easier to do, they're a lot shorter. Um, the weekly ones might take a little bit more time, while the monthly ones are for the extent maybe of a day or a couple of days. So my daily spiritual habits are, as you might guess, um, praying, reading scripture, and listening to worship music. I find that when it comes to listening to worship music, a lot of times we're only listening either on the radio or we're listening in church and worshiping in church. I find that if you make like a playlist on Spotify of just worship music or a specific type of worship music that you know gets you emotional or a certain type of worship music that you know um, is super theological and that's what you want to focus on day by day, um, I find that creating those playlists and then listening to those songs over and over and over again just adds that much more of Jesus into your life and helps reorient your mind towards Christ. Prayer and scripture reading are the same as worship. It's just spending time in God's word. You have to be disciplined. You have to be dedicated. I know it's hard and sometimes the reading is difficult, but when you actually do it, it's, it's life changing. Maybe not dramatically at first, but you'll start to see little bits and pieces of your life that orients you more towards God every day. When it comes to a relationship with someone, you have to spend time with them, right? So prayer, scripture, and worship, that's how we spend time with God. So my weekly habits are kind of different. Uh, one of my weekly habits is I listen to two different podcasts. One podcast is a discussion podcast. Um, it's called Views from the Porch. It's from a church in Texas. And um, they just discuss uh, topical issues of culture and how it relates to us as believers and how we're supposed to react to that. I also listen to another podcast that is just sermons from that same church and they go through a whole bunch of different topics. So I highly recommend listening to a podcast, a Christian podcast, once or twice a week just so that you have a little more than just Sunday's sermon lasting throughout the week. You have something else punctuating the rest of your week um, that's a little deeper and a little more theologically based. Of course there's Sunday service. Of course I go to church every Sunday. God wants us to go to church every Sunday. I think it's a discipline and I think it's just something that um, people should do because, you know, you're going and being in fellowship with people and God commands that and you really need that for your edification, for encouragement, and there's just so much that you can find at a church, including service and friends that you're just not going to find somewhere else. This last uh, weekly habit is not typical. I think a lot of people don't do it. I take a Sabbath every week, a full day Sabbath. like. I make sure I get all my homework done Monday through Saturday in order so that I can have my Sabbath on Sunday because it just makes it so much better. And God didn't create the Sabbath for God. God created the Sabbath for man. He knows how much we work. He knows how much we need it. I mean, God's been taking take a mental health day every week since the beginning of time. And people are just now saying, yes, we need mental health. We need to take a you day. And that's basically what the Sabbath is. Take a you day in order to, you know, glorify God in that. Lastly, my last two spiritual disciplines are monthly, kind of every couple of months kind of thing. Um, one is that I take a week off of social media every once in a while. It helps me purge so much negativity from my life and helps me reorient my mind on Christ and it just helps me focus and have so much better mental health and I think that's something that we all need. And social media interferes with your spiritual life. I think that's when you need to really take a break from it and that's when it becomes a spiritual habit. Lastly, um, and this one isn't super popular either, but fasting. Every once in a while, I'll fast for a 24-hour period, a 48-hour period, something like that. Um, that's mostly a water slash juice fast. Like, I won't eat any food, but I'll drink water, drink juice, um, just so that I'm keeping myself somewhat um, nutritioned, but also depriving myself of what I want, of chewing solid foods. And the focus of that is to turn your focus back onto God in a more dramatic way, to find answers for something. If you're really struggling with something, I recommend you take a fast and you take it seriously, you don't eat, and all the times that you would use to eat, you use to focus on God instead. So, 
yeah, I just pray that my spiritual habits can help you guys. Most of them are very biblically based. They're not kind of crazy, um, out of this world kind of things. But I really hope that you guys see how it affects me, how it affects my spiritual life. And I hope that encourages you to, to do the same and take the same steps in order to grow in your faith with Christ.